What's up everyone and welcome to another Bitcoin market update. In these videos you will learn how to use technical analysis to forecast price movements in your favorite cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and also see where we are looking to buy and sell these crypto assets ourselves. So let's get into it here with Bitcoin on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame we finally have something new to talk about and this is uh, this is quite exciting. We have actually set a monthly high. Um, you can see that this monthly candle dipped below the previous monthly low here at 47k. We have set a monthly high. We now will see if this low that we just recently set is the monthly low. That would be an incredibly, uh, <laughs> that would be literally the almost the bare minimum amount that we could go down on the monthly time frame to set a higher low. Um, given that you need to break the m previous monthly's low to even set a high. We barely did that, and we've traded up since. Um, if we look at the pivot levels, we can see that right now the level that is supporting price is actually the R2 pivot, which we're bouncing off of. So once you get above a pivot and you close two candles above it, it kind of turns into a support resistance flip level. Uh, on occasion and you can see that happening here with you know we closed we pushed through the r2 here we closed both of these candles above it and then once we came back into it here now we're bouncing off of that level now the r3 level is still our main resistance level on the monthly time frame um, we can see that the rsi is starting to curl downwards um, as we have this sell-off this last month was increasing bear volume, so it's going to be interesting to see in 18 days what this volume candle looks like. If it's decreasing bear volume in comparison to this one, meaning the volume candle is going to be lower, lower than this one, that's very good in terms of the bull case for us to set a higher low and then continue higher. If it's increasing bear volume, it's not going to be good for the bulls. So let's go to the weekly time frame. Weekly time frame, we just basically invalidated the hidden bullish divergence that we've been talking about here on the RSI with the lower low in the RSI but higher low in price. Right here we just broke to a new lower low. Now the thing is when you're in a bull trend you don't want to see us break to lower lows um, especially after a hidden bullish divergence and increasing bull volume. You typically want to see um, that <laughs> that trend continue with like I was talking about yesterday a higher low and then a higher high. But we just saw a lower low here, um, and we're bouncing off of that R2 pivot, like I said. Now, the what you could argue is this is a liquidity grab. Now, a liquidity grab is where whales in the market push the price to a certain level so they can trigger people's stop losses so they can fill their positions. Because when you're a whale, you can't just fill your positions at any given price because you have tens of millions of dollars you need to fill. And if you just try and execute that at some regular on some regular exchange, you're going to move the price in one direction significantly. Um, and so what you have to do is you have to trigger a bunch of stop losses at, at some level. So then you can fill your positions at that level without having a lot of price movement when you want to fill them. So if this was a liquidity grab, the whales just filled their positions right below this key low here. And the way we know their stop losses here is because of this rise in price and this above average bull volume, we know their stop losses below this low most likely. And so um, the, the whales may, this is the bull case, the whales may have pushed the price below this low and now are going to subsequently go up for new all-time highs because that would be the fuel that we need to go to new all-time highs if that is the case. If we go to the daily time frame, uh, things are looking a bit bleak for the bulls. Um, and the reason I say that is because we broke through yesterday our daily support level that we've been talking about here um, the past several days since it formed back here on May 1st. Um, this level is held for us on two tests, and then subsequently the third test we pushed right through it here. If today's daily candle does not close back inside of this blue zone, which is up here at about 52,360, um, this zone is going to turn into a resistance zone, and it will most likely hold on the first test. And so um, you can see that the other support level that we're currently bouncing off of is the daily S1 pivot level here. So this is um, a level that is looking like it's going to hold for the first test. So the other thing to mention about the daily time frame is the potential for a bear trend here. 
So we have the makings of a bear trend. If this daily candle does not close back above this low, so even higher than the blue, we need to close back above this low to not have a confirmed daily bear trend, which is right now, it's possible, but that is, we would have to see a rise of about 7% um, to close above that low from May 10th. If we do that, then we're, we have not confirmed a daily bear trend, and we're still in okay position. And honestly, in that in that case, we would be in great position to see a continuation higher, um, because in that, in that case, the bulls would clearly have made up the lost ground that they you know pushed down uh, and had here. And clearly, this would be a liquidity grab because the daily candle would literally have opened at like forty nine four and closed at like 54k so at that in that case you know we're, we're looking pretty good in terms of the bull the bull case um i think it's unlikely that that will end up happening i think we will close below this blue zone um and if that's the case then I, the way i'm going to play this is i'm going to take my horizontal ray tool um so i'm going to have 50 percent of my short entry here and yes, I am going to go short. Um, and then my other short entry at the uh, body of this candle. Now, another way you can play this is you can literally say, okay, this this is a level, but I'm going to actually go for the ultra confluent level, which would be this white candle. Because if we confirm the, the bear trend, we know how to read the trend. We know that it's a, uh, so we have a, uh, a low high, higher low, I'm sorry, lower high. Did I even just say that right? A high, low, lower high, and then a lower low. And so that'll make this candle where people were buying their Bitcoin a strong resistance level for price. So that is what we'll look to uh, potentially go short on. So you could you could enter instead on that level there and you could say, all right, that's inside of this other blue level. So the major, major resistance level is up here at about 54, 556. And that's if we close below this low from May 10th. Now, if we just close below this low from April 29th, this is still going to be a resistance level. Um, so even if we closed like at like 53K, um, yeah, if we closed at 53K, that's still a bear trend because we closed below the low from May 10th. If we close below the low from May 10th and this low from April 29th, which I think is, you know, could potentially that could potentially be what happens, then um, we're we're going to be in uh, a bear a full on bear position with a new daily resistance level, a confirmed bearish downtrend, and this resistance level right here that we already have seen as a valid level with two tests of it, and now we've pushed through it. So this will be a support resistance flip zone. So what I'll probably do then if we close below this April 29th low is I'll put one of my asks there, one of my asks there, and then another ask right there on the bottom of this low. So then what I'll do is I'll put my stop loss above this white candle right here, which is at about you can see it's about 56960 on this exchange. So it would be at whatever it is on on you know the uh, uh, whatever exchange you're trading on, you put it at the top of this May 11th high. So and then where's your target for that? Well, the target for that for me is going to be down here at this blue level because I think that if we confirmed a daily bear trend, the momentum of that could easily carry us down to the weekly support level which is that light blue level right here, which is uh, down here at about 38K. So if we look at the risk to reward ratio on that trade, um, what we're looking at is roughly a 4.73 risk to reward with 29% profit potential. So really good, um, really, really good there. Another thing I wanted to point out was the potential for a head and shoulders pattern. So um, if we look, I just saw this yesterday. If we look, this right here could be a head and shoulders pattern. So 
if this is a head and shoulders pattern, it's kind of messy because of the the neckline. It's very it's kind of challenging to see where is the neckline. It looks kind of like it's a slanting neckline downwards based on these wicks. If you look at it like that, that's actually a more bearish uh, pattern um, because when the 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 slope of the uh, neckline for a head and shoulders pattern determines how bearish or bullish it is. If this neckline was sloped, so I'm going to draw a trend line just so we can e easier s see this a little bit easier. So you can see that it's pretty much the left shoulder, you know, ends right about there. Um, and then if we just, you know, it's roughly this, right? So, um, if we're looking at this neckline, because it's sloped down, that means that it's more bearish. If this was sloped up, it would be more bullish, meaning that we wouldn't draw down as much. But because this is sloping down, it is more bearish than it is bullish. And so this entry is even more, um, has even more profit potential because of this. So even if, if, if we take this into consideration, we can measure from our head and see the target. We can go down to the neckline. So if we do a conservative target and we go just to the left, the, the left shoulder, it's about fourteen thousand seven hundred dollars. If we go to the actual like kind of neckline from where we think it roughly is, it's about sixteen thousand two. So let's start with the first target and let's take it from that level down to. Uh, hang on. Just get in position here. So if we go down, because it's going to be a pretty significant drawdown. 14,600 would take us roughly to. Can't see it because of my, my image. Um. Well, it's 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 around like 34k roughly. Um, if we take this, if we take this pattern down to the $1,600 level, or I'm sorry, the $1,600 target, 16,000. I cannot talk. Uh, that's about 33k. So that would just take this target, you know, into here, and then you know you can. It's somewhere in the blue zone. But the bottom line is the whether you're taking this pattern or you're not taking this pattern, um, my target is the main support level, which is the weekly support level down here. Because we start trending on the daily time frame bearish, um, the momentum, there's, there's not a lot of support in here. This is a lot of hot air. So the support levels... If we just want to look at those and say, all right, what's the hopium? What's the hopium for the bulls? Um, we'll leave those on just to give us something to look at. The only support level that we have, in my opinion, is this level right here. This level right here back from March 4th is our main support level. And we're just going to color this color it gray so it's just easier to see where it is so this gray support level has already been tested once twice and now this is the third test of this if we come up into this level and test it a fourth time we're probably going through this level to the downside um, the way we know this is a support level is because of the daily trend we had a bull trend here then we came down we tested this level this was uh clearly a spot to enter the trade and then boom we're off to the races um we came down we tested it again here and we came up we had a nice bounce off of it again it, it's it's still supported price and now subsequently we're trying to bounce off of this again even though we wicked below it we did not close below it and so now we're looking to come back up into it so the these are the main levels to watch they're the only levels in my opinion that matter uh, this weekly level down here from January 18th from our bull trend back there. Very simple, low, high, higher, low, higher, high. Last down candle where people were selling, that's our support zone. Daily time frame, 
dark blue level right here from April 29th and gray level right here from March 4th. If we close below the dark blue zone resistance, if we close below the white candle, or I'm sorry, the, the low here, this is confirmed bearish trend uh, from May 10th, and then the momentum from that will likely carry us down uh, further. So if we go to the lower term time frames, um, the bulls are trying to make a case here. You can see that they're they're trying to form a higher low here and come up, but the problem is this is the four hour time frame and this is a pretty low time frame. So even if they do change the trend in the four hour time frame, that is good. The, that's the first thing the bulls will need to do to turn this back bullish. Um, but the, the, they need that daily. They need the daily confirmation. That's the bottom line. The daily confirmation needs to come from either a close back inside this blue zone at a minimum, and then more, a better close would be above this low from May 10th. So that's all I got for this one, guys. Um, by the way, uh, before I end the video, um, I don't want people to get discouraged if, if we're looking at going into you know a bearish period, if you're holding these cryptocurrencies, uh, other cryptocurrencies. Obviously, everything is, for educational purposes, not intended as financial advice, but um, you can make just as much money going short in the market uh, as you can going long. And so it's important to remember that if we do end up going into more of a prolonged bearish trend because the monthly time frame is clearly we're we're looking for monthly uh a monthly reprieve after seven months of of bull trend um you can make just as much money as the price goes down as you can as it goes up so just keep that in mind when you're looking at the charts and uh you keep an open mind and don't get discouraged if we do confirm this daily bear trend and look for the valid entries for yourself um, and how you want to play that position. The other thing I would say is don't get caught holding the bag if it's a cryptocurrency altcoin that you um, might not necessarily believe in long term, like Dogecoin or something else that, you know, it's okay to get caught up in the hype when it's happening and you're in a bull market. Once you start to go into a bear market, um, the thing you need to keep in mind is those coins are going to depreciate in value significantly. And so you have to be okay with either holding those positions for a very long time until eventually the price goes above the price that you bought them at, um, which is probably near all-time highs at this point. Um, in the future, which could be years or months or however long it is, um, or selling it for a loss, potentially because it's already went down a little bit, and then buying it back cheaper if you really believe in that long term. So it's something to consider. Um, I know I've been looking at my my altcoin positions and been considering if I want to hold them through a bear market or if I want to sell them. And I already have a plan for that, for which ones I am going to hold and for which ones um, I will look to sell. So that's all I got for this one, guys. If you if you like this video, give it a like down below and subscribe for future educational content around cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. And if you haven't already, check out our beginner technical analysis course that we just released on lutheria.com. There is a link for that in the description below. We're currently running a 20% off discount for our early Lutherian supporters like yourself. This is a course that really helps you lay down the fundamentals of technical analysis. A lot of the stuff that we talk about in these videos... Um, is covered in that course and there's a lot of other stuff as well so we talk about volume we talk about trends we talk about um you know a lot of different things can't reading candlesticks a ton of different really interesting things and we put a lot of time into that so then you guys can learn those concepts quickly and get started generating consistent income for yourself trading cryptocurrencies like bitcoin so check it out and until tomorrow onward and upward